individuals. Typically, you are here as a manager. What you want them to do is to collaborate. All of these issues are collaboration issues. We collaborate to create good business and the goal is to work less and produce more. So you want this link between these two people to be as efficient as possible. When you have a problem, you talk to this guy, you collaborate, fix the problem. When you have a need, help him, ask him, and get him engaged in helping you with your need, okay? And vice versa. So we listening to each other. What do you need? Why? Explain it to me. What's difficult about it? And negotiate until you get an agreement. We're managing agreements, not promises. All right? Because a lot of what you're doing is promises. Because your requirements keep pushed, keeps moving. The legacy system lasts forever. The quality is not there. The delays are there. All of these are boundaries that are not very clear, right? Why? Did you get a clear agreement? And this agreement was realistic. If it was realistic and they said, we deliver that, they need to do all whatever it takes to deliver it. And then if the agreement is not respected, you have a broken agreement. So as managers, you're managing broken agreements. As simple as you're late, that's a broken agreement. You didn't do it on time, and you're delivering one hour later, one minute later, that's a broken agreement. Let's talk about why we have a broken agreement. Not about the work and why it's difficult, but your relationship is your agreement, and then you're into leadership. The question is not why you broke this agreement, it's what kind of a person are you to break an agreement? How do you work? How do you take things seriously? So when you say two, 10 hours, do you mean 10 hours or do you mean 11 hours? Because next time you tell me any numbers, I'm not going to be able to trust you. And if I can't trust you, it's going to get really complicated. You're going to have a lot of meetings, a lot of email, a lot of wasted time, and you're going to ruin my life. You understand all this really? So the idea of getting clear agreements with those people is very important to you as a manager. So, and what do you expect when things don't work for him? What should he do? Say feedback. The only tool we have is feedback. So the level of feedback needs to be great, right? So as a manager, what you want to do is create a safe, permissive open environment, so if you're not happy, just tell them. You need something from him, I'm not happy, there's a broken agreement. Before you talk to me, you talk to this guy. That's your job. And you really tell him, if you don't talk to me in the hallway. Why are you talking to me in the hallway? Why did you send me this email about this problem for the other people? Are they reading the same email? Are they hearing the same thing? No. Go talk to them and talk to me after. Do your job, please. And all of a sudden, you free time. I'm not taking those complaints. Complainers are not my problem. Did you tell the person you are unhappy about? No. So your real question, what is it that I need to do so that you go tell him? What am I doing wrong? That creates the fact that you interrupt me in the hallway, steal my time, use me to deal with your problem. What am I doing wrong about it? I thought that was clear. Well, I'm afraid of this person. Why is this person scary? Blah, blah, blah. There's some reason why you're not doing it. So I have to listen to it, to deal with it. Okay? Because I want this, this work. Okay, so typically what you want is you want people to argue. This person wants a decision. This person wants a decision. And at one point, they confront each other, and they agree to disagree. I heard you. You heard me. Let's agree to disagree. So what are you going to do now? Because we need one boundary, one agreement, 
and only one way to work. Not a whole bunch of misunderstanding that change all the time. For this period of time where we can be precise, do we have the clear same agreement? No, we cannot. So both of them go to the manager. And the manager arbitrates. And he is the owner of the decision at that time. And that's ultimately what we want. Basic. We only go to a manager when we need him to take a decision at his level. So he's arbitrary. Well, this is not what's happening, right? This guy gets unhappy, goes, gives a bunch of emotional information to this manager. This manager starts panicking. Customers are unhappy. This system has been going on for years. People are burning out. The manager gets worried. He's found a victim. And the reason why all this mess is happening. So he comes down on this person. Huh? This guy goes, I did not know. I've been stabbed in the back by this person. So he goes in like this. And the bridge begins to have holes. And then I'm going to have to come back here and fix the holes. That means a lot of meanings. Team building. Everything is fine. We love you. We love each other. Because there are a bunch of holes because people don't collaborate like that. So it becomes like a lot of hassle. It becomes complicated. So what you want really is make sure those people are strong. Make sure these things are safe, and you train them to cross a bridge. So you focus on people development. Leadership skills, basic ones. If they get effective, then you create time. You only have quality emails, quality, quality meetings, quality interruptions. So the skill for you is to become really good at creating time and implementing that.